If you've heard of ChatGPT but you just haven't had a chance to mess around with it yet, welcome to this short tutorial on how to use ChatGPT. To access ChatGPT for free, simply just go to chatgpt.com. Once you're inside of ChatGPT, you can start using it immediately without even having an account. In order to use ChatGPT, you simply come up with a prompt or a question that you want the chatbot to do for you. So for example, let's say I own a landscaping business and I want 10 keyword ideas that I could use on my landscaping business website. I could literally ask right here on the message chat TPT section, give me 10 keyword ideas for my landscaping business. And ChatGPT is now going to create and give me 10 ideas that I can use for keywords within my website. Prompting is really fun and ChatGPT can be pretty creative. So for example, I could say write a short poem about landscaping and it will go ahead and create a poem about landscaping. While it's fun to just prompt things on ChatGPT, it can actually do things to help you to save time. So for example, here's an article on how Google makes their money. If I don't wanna read this whole article, but I wanna understand the gist of what it says, I could literally just copy and paste this content inside of ChatGPT and ask it to summarize it for me. So I've copied this and I'm gonna go back over to ChatGPT. I'm gonna say summarize the following information I'm gonna put a colon, I'm gonna paste all the content that I just copied and I'm gonna hit enter. ChatGPT will now look at this content and give me a quick summary on what it read. Another thing that ChatGPT can do really well is writing emails. So for example, if I'm a landscape company and I wanna write a cold email to some prospective clients, I could have ChatGPT write an email to help me get started. So down in the prompt, I'm gonna go ahead and say, write a cold email about my landscaping services. So it's gonna go ahead and create an email that I could take a look at, change, massage, but this just really helps you with the ideation part and kind of getting over that hump of just sitting there with some writer's block, not knowing even what to say. Now it's important to understand that the free version of ChatGPT is not connected to the live internet. So it is using a language model that's a few years older. It doesn't have the most current information, but like I showed you, you could feed it information and ask it to learn that information, summarize that information, or even write a piece of content based off of what it learned from that information. The latest model of ChatGPT, which is connected to the internet and which they are giving limited access to for free users, can be accessible if you create a free ChatGPT account. To create a free ChatGPT account, click sign up at the bottom left. When you get to this screen, it will either ask you to create an account with an email address, or you can choose to use your Google account, Microsoft account, or your Apple account as your account for ChatGPT. By signing up for a free ChatGPT account, you will have limited access to certain features like being able to upload a file and having ChatGPT to read it, or actually giving ChatGPT a URL to learn and summarize information so that you don't have to copy and paste out of an article and put it in the ChatGPT. If you want to increase that limit and be able to prompt more often, ChatGPT does have a paid version called ChatGPT Pro, which does cost $20 a month. So here I am inside of my ChatGPT Pro account, and you can see here that it's added an upload button that didn't exist before on the free version of ChatGPT. So with this, I could upload an image or I could actually upload a file and have ChatGPT summarize that for me. Another really cool feature that exists inside of the paid version of ChatGPT Pro is that you get access to Dolly. So Dolly is the ability to be able to have AI create images for you. So for example, I could ask Dolly to create an image of a beautiful landscape in front of a residential home and I can hit enter. So now what Dolly is doing is it is using its ChatGPT model to be able to create new imagery that I could use on my website or in my marketing materials. So you can see here that ChatGPT created images that I could use and I could download them, I can open them to look at them in a bigger size to be able to see what they really look like. This is pretty incredible stuff and it is included in the ChatGPT Pro version which is $20 a month. And that's basically how you use ChatGPT. It's really fun to go in there and ask it to do a bunch of different things to really see the power and how creative ChatGPT can be. So if you haven't used ChatGPT, I hope that this video helps you to see how easy it is to use. If you liked this video, please make sure that you click like and subscribe so that you'll be notified when we put out more helpful content like this. Thanks for joining me today on this tutorial and we'll see you on the next video.